What's up guys, thanks for tuning into the channel where we do product reviews, how-to videos, and the occasional car rally, but all around the C8 Corvette platform. Today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to install the wide angle mirrors and LED turn signals from Paragon Performance that you can put on your C8 Corvette. With that being said, let's get into it. So to do this install, you'll need a couple of tools in order to get the job done. The job isn't difficult, but there are a few delicate plastic tabs that can break, and it'll be good to have some high strength 3M double-sided tape in case that does happen. Generally, the job will take anywhere around 45 minutes to an hour and a half to complete depending on your experience and tools. And if you're looking for more info about these parts, also check out my product review video as well as discount codes that you can use to save on your order. So to start with, place painter's tape around the edges of the mirror to prevent any scratching. You'll want to make sure it covers only the edge as the front cover will need to come off for this install. Next, you'll want to rotate the mirror. First, rotate inward and then downward to gain access to the plastic tabs behind. There are two tabs on each corner of the mirror and are in the top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. Using the Paragon mirror for reference, we need to release the four top tabs. You'll need to pull the tabs using a flathead screwdriver to release and then keep tension on the mirror to keep the tab from re-engaging. At that point, with a little bit of wiggling, you'll be able to pop off the mirror. It takes a few tries to get all four tabs released, so take your time in trying to remove the piece. Once that's done, unplug all the wires from the mirror to remove and set aside. Next, we'll need to remove the front cover. First, place some painter's tape on the side to prevent any scratching. After which, you'll need to push down on two clips and push the tabs forward that help hold the front cover in place. You'll want to use a flathead screwdriver to pull those clips down gently and just enough to clear the tabs to push forward using the trim tool. If not, you risk breaking those clips, so be gentle and take your time. I speak from experience as I had broken multiple tabs on the right hand side when doing this install because I didn't take my time. That being said, if you do as well, it's not the end of the world, but having high strength 3M double sided tape will save you as it did me. And I'll show later in this video where to apply the double sided tape so it stays secure until you can replace with new pieces if needed. So going back to the main install, again, gently pull down the clip and push the tab forward. Next, we can use the trim tool to pry the front cover off. Start on the edge and work down until you get level with the turn signal light. At that point, you'll need to wiggle the cap off to get it to release. It may take a few tries, but the cap should eventually pop off once you do. Again, you don't wanna to place too much force as this can be one of the ways you can accidentally break off some of the tabs that hold the piece in place. Once that's done, remove the tape on the side. Next thing you want to do from there is remove the three Phillips screws from the front and one screw from the back to remove the mirror housing.
At this point, you can unplug the OEM turn signal and remove the part from the housing. Pull the plastic housing to the side just enough to lift it out of the turn signal and repeat to place the new Paragon turn signal in place. Make sure the wiring is clear and facing front when placing in the new turn signal. Next thing we need to do is set up the wide angle mirror to install. Take the provided wires and plug them into the black sockets. Keep in mind to plug the stripe wire to the stripe wire socket and solid to solid. Once done, reinstall the mirror housing with all the screws from before. Next, route the wiring through the housing and plug in the other connectors to the mirror. The black wires that go into the mirror connector tabs can go either way and polarity does not matter for those. Next, you can snap the mirror back in place. You should hear an audible click as the clips secure into place. Make sure all the wires installed are clear of the center housing so the entire mirror can sit securely and remove the painter's tape once done. Now we can work on the wires that go into the turn signal connectors. We'll need to cut the excess wires we have. I found cutting them to the length of the power connector works fine, but keep in mind to cut one of those two wires about an inch shorter than the other. This helps give clearance to the bulky scotch lock connectors we will be using to share power between the LED turn signals and the mirror turn signal. Separate the wires on the power connector. You'll need to use a razor to pull back the electrical tape in order to split enough of the wire to use the provided red scotch lock connector. Place the connectors in. Keep in mind to match the stripe wires with striped power wire and the solid with solid. The mirror wire will go into the single hole side and the power wire will go into the sleeve or outer side. Use a set of pliers to crimp the connector. Do a light pull of the wire to make sure it's set in place and then set the clip down to secure the whole connector. At this point, you can plug in the turn signal wire and finally test the whole system to make sure it's working. Once you've confirmed everything is working, we can place the front cover on. Start with the inside tab first and rotate and snap the piece into place when you do. You'll want to make sure that the cover edge goes inside the seam of the housing to fit properly. Now, if you had broken tabs on your mirror cap, you may need to take an extra step and place 3M double-sided tape as shown. 
This will securely hold the cap in place and sit flush as if you had it messed up. Now I would still recommend replacing the front cap or housing if you did end up breaking those tabs off, but found that this is a quick fix, keeping everything secure pretty nicely in the meantime. In any case, when applying your front cover, again, start on the inside edge and rotate and snap the piece back into place. At that point, you're done on that side and can repeat the process on the other side. If you have any questions about this install, please leave it in the comments below. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please check out any of my other how-to videos like this one here for your C8 or car needs.